Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland. We are at the Joint CBRM Conference. This conference serves the Joint Program Executive Office and the United States Army, two of our biggest customers. I'd like to give you a quick tour around the booth, show you what we'll be displaying today. First up, we have our brand new Guardian, GC Mass Spec. This is an extremely exciting product for us. For the first time, the industry is gonna have a truly portable, truly easy to use GC Mass Spec system. This is a trace identification system, extremely low level capability for chem warfare agents, ticks, explosives, narcotics, any organic compound. Very excited about the Guardian. Next, we have our CBPS. This is our Chem Bioprotective Shelter System. This is a program we have with the U.S. Army, with the JPEO. And this is a highly portable, easily deployable protective shelter system for whatever, our, whatever needs in, in theater or in the civilian community. Over here we have the Hazmat ID 360. This is our bellwether product for identification. Utilizes FTIR spectroscopy and is extremely good for liquids, powders, solids. We have a library where we can identify over 35,000 compounds. Highly deployed product throughout all the United States military and a number of the militaries around the world and highly deployed around the entire United States first responder community as well as first responders abroad. The Ranger is a smaller version of the Hazmat ID 360, utilizes the same technology, just in a much smaller, lighter, compact unit. So if the mission calls for a lighter tool, Hazmat ID Ranger is the tool for them. Next we come over to our LCD product line. We start off with the JCAD product, which is again for the Joint Program Executive Office, a very successful program we have. Then we have LCD Nexus, which combines two sensors with different dopants so that we can expand the range of chemical compounds we can detect. And finally, we have the latest version, which is the 3.3 version, which has been widely accepted in the first responder community. Next, we have our SensorLink system. This is our wireless communication system, and it is designed to link together a number of different sensors which can be deployed around a facility, around the stadium, or throughout the battlefield and it will provide a wireless command and control system for the warfighter or the civilian first responder. But next what we want to go over to is some of our other products. We have the Gas ID. The Gas ID is a, again, is a sister product to the Hazmat ID 360. It utilizes the same technology, FTIR spectroscopy, but this product is designed for gases. So we can identify gases and vapors, and we have a library of uh, over 5,000 compounds. Very widely deployed by the National Guard Bureau, and the uh, civilian first responders, the firefighters in the United States. Next, we come over to two of our trace explosive detection products. The new Sabre 5000 builds upon the very successful Sabre system that we've had for several years. Again, this will do trace explosives, it'll also do narcotics, it'll do ticks, and it'll do CWAs. And then we have the MMTD. The MMTD is a ruggedized trace explosives detector extremely durable. This product uh, is designed for, with the warfighter in mind where we have very dirty environments, very rough environments, and where the product most likely is going to get jostled around quite a bit. Another very exciting new product is the Rad Seeker. The Rad Seeker is an isotope detection system, but it also has the ability to do very good identification as well, which is very unique in the industry. This is a tool we developed for the DNDO. They are deploying it and plan to deploy it across a variety of applications including Customs and Border Protection, TSA, and the U.S. Coast Guard. Civilian first responders have also been using this tool, and they absolutely love it. Our hope is that it could replace two or three tools they're using. It'll help them with their budgets, and it will allow them to respond quicker and faster. Over here we have our, some of our bio tools. You know, the approach to bioanalysis requires a variety of different tools so we can get the answer. We have the BioSeq Plus, which uses PCR technology. We have our new NIDS system, which is a great addition to the team. Again, it helps us along the lines of classification. The Prime Alert, which we've been offering now for the last few years. Again, another type of bio classification tool. And then our quick 2020 protein check kit. This is typically where most users will start here, just to see if they have a protein or not. So these four tools together help bring together a very strong bio classification and identification system. 
We have the Responder RCI, which is our Raman spectroscopy system. Raman is a complementary technique to infrared spectroscopy. So this is a beautiful product to go along with the Hazmat ID 360. And one of the nice features about Raman is that you can sample through glass bottles or through plastic bags without having to open and touch the sample. And this is highly desirable for drug enforcement agencies, for people who do explosives identification, but it's also a great complementary tool to the Hazmat ID 360. And finally, we have the CAM-XTR. The CAM-XTR is a newer version of the LCD product. And what's unique about it is we have this new nozzle system, which allows us now to make this a monitoring system, which is great for the application of decon for the military and also for first responders in hospitals if they have to worry about decontamination issues as well. So thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the products we're going to be exhibiting here this week at Joint CBRN. Have a nice day.